You got to be kidding me. Hey, folks, it's Pastor Kelly coming at you, and I just wanted to talk a little bit today about the uh, little controversy that's starting to brew up over the uh, the Trump, or the Donald, as they call him, and the Pope, uh, the Antichrist, as I call him. Some of this stuff is just flat crazy. Let's go look at it. It started with the, the Pope getting upset yesterday when uh, he got pulled into a crowd, or actually, in, well, let me show you what happened with that. Looks a bit mad, doesn't he? I, I can't say to blame him, but uh, he was scolding that fella. Well, let me show you what he was telling him. He was lecturing him in Spanish to uh, not be so selfish. So don't be selfish. Because, uh, you know, he was wanting to, wanting to put his hands on the Pope, his idol. What he should have been doing, what he should have been doing, was lecturing him to uh, don't be into idolatry. Don't be worshiping the Pope. Worship the Lord Jesus Christ. That he should have been telling him, I'm a mere man, just a pastor of the gospel. That's all I am. But he wasn't. He was telling him to not be so selfish to let everybody get their chance to put their hand on the Pope. Well, let's just call him the anti-Pope or the anti-Christ or false prophet. That's what I call him, praise God. Well, let me show you what's going on with the Trump after that. Well, on the way to talk some more, I thought I might throw this oh in there did he really y'all see this oh gross so the donald trump is not a nice person okay donald trump is a very nice person and i'm a very i, I am a very nice and i'm a very good christian because the pope said something to the effect that maybe donald trump isn't christian okay and he's questioning my faith well i question his faith too i'm proud of it okay for a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. I'm proud to be a Christian. Uh, we're going to stop right there on that one. We're going to stop right there on that one, and I'm going to pull you up some scriptures and show you where he's exactly wrong. John says, uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Hmm, sounds kind of familiar. Matthew, he warns us, uh, beware of false prophets which uh, come in to you in sheep's clothing and that inwardly are raving wolves. And, but anyhow, we go on down here to Timothy. And Timothy says, Them that sin rebuke before all that others also may fear. So, yes, the Pope exactly had a right to call Donald Trump out on his faith. It, the Bible tells us to do so, but I tell you the truth, I call the Pope out on his faith because of the way the Catholic Church runs things. My bottom line is, is I don't believe either one of them is Christian, and that's a fact. Uh, you can't get to where Trump's got to and, and be a very good Christian, if a Christian at all, because of all the things he's done and the way he's lived. And Well, we're just not going to go into it. And, and with the Pope, uh, you know, the way he runs the church and the way he keeps changing up on things one way and another and then taking in the homosexuals and giving in on birth control and all over to Zika and this and other, there ain't no way. He's not Christian either. I'm, I question whether or not he's even saved or half of them are. But the bottom line is, is this. I'll tell both the Trump and the Pope. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. So... You know, forgive each other if you can. That's what you should do, and that'd be the first step of uh, establishing your Christendom. But I just thought I'd throw this out here and uh, let you guys decide what you think. And if you like, give it a like. And if you won't, leave me a comment. Pastor Kelly's going to sign off. God bless you one and all. Pray for me, and we'll pray for you. Amen.